Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. Today as I'm filming this, it is my first day of summer, which we are here for summer break 2019. Very exciting. Also, I know my hair has seen better days. We're just gonna like, I just didn't want to do it and it's to the point where like even I can't make it look good in a bun. Like it's just not happening. Comment down below what you guys think I ordered from Starbucks as well. And if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be talking about lots of things. Very, very excited about this. I realized, I'm like, what do I have to lose? So I'm gonna be answering questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. If you guys have not followed me on Instagram, you guys should. It'll be linked down below. Also, I will have this hoodie and these earrings linked down below. Aritzia, H&M, love them. Some of my favorite things in the world. So this is gonna be a and A of like, questions and also you guys are sending in assumptions and you know whatever it's fun okay also my phone case is from not another bill i had it made isn't it so cute i love anything custom like i'm obsessed with it and my rings are from the end jewelers i feel like i'm just why am i i don't know i don't know it'll be common so top five songs at the moment okay i love olivia o'brien's new album i'm gonna say care less more and we lie to each other um, another with the fire, Hillsong United, House on the Hill, Amanda Cook, loving that right now, um, Homecoming, loving that right now, now I'm not doing songs, I'm like, okay, one of you guys made me a playlist, like, name Kenzie, because you guys were like, we have some music taste, whatever, that is literally the cutest, sweetest thing anyone's ever done for me, um, also NASA, Ariana Grande, find what you're looking for, Olivia O'Brien, I'm not really branching out right now on music, I need to, like, I don't know, I've been in a very, like, I don't know what I want to listen to mood and it really affects me in the car because it's really bothering me that I'm not like hitting like the it's not like the right playlist you know leave send me your playlist send me song recommends recommendations down below send all of it please do you think Sal and Dom are your forever friends and your only friends that you hang out with um yes to forever friends um and we're no well, no. Okay, they're not the only people I hang out with. They're like definitely my best friends, but we all also have like our other friends and own friends. Like I have like YouTube friends and even like other friends in LA. Um, but like they get along. We pretty much all get along with each other's other friends though. Sal and I always joke about how we're each other's only friends, but like that's not actually the case. So yeah, I mean, we definitely hang out with other people. I think as like a friend group as a whole, the people that I'm with all the time, like Ryan, um, and then like a few other people that aren't in the vlogs as much, it's like we're all like BFFs, you know? It's like literally the happiest I've ever been with friends in my life. Like I could cry, I love them so much. A lot of these are like assumptions, like you're dating someone, you have a boyfriend, you... Sorry, one of you guys just assume something with the. I feel like a lot of you guys have assumptions that I was seeing someone or dating someone or like it's a certain person or whatever. No, I'm not seeing anyone. That is it. That is the end of that. You guys are like really good at this stuff though. Like you pick up on things pretty quickly. Okay, do you feel jealous of your other YouTube friends? If so, how do you get over it? And then there's a lot of questions about like how I haven't been traveling as much lately and been with them as much, blah, blah, blah. I hate that I'm not with them. It sucks. Um, but. The reason that I'm not traveling as much lately um, is because with my program, like, it's a requirement to be there Sundays, but also, like, with my life, it's, like, a requirement for me to be there on Sundays. Like, I don't, I get so much FOMO missing one Sunday at Zoe. Obviously, like, I want to go and whatever. With that being said, like, I will be going on more trips and seeing them this summer with the program. Like, I could go more than I do. I chose Big Bear over Coachella. Like, we had a retreat for my school. I chose to go there over Coachella. Taylor just texted me, what are the odds I can borrow the Red Princess Polly dress in Vegas? Of course. I feel like my priorities have definitely shifted. I get asked this question a lot because like I understand that like, a lot of my friends are out doing cool things and whatever and I'm in LA majority of the time, which I love living here, so it's not like I'm in LA and I'm home. I don't know, I just know that I'm where I'm supposed to be and this is like, especially these few years in this program that I'm in, in like school and everything it's like if you guys don't know i go to zoe leadership college which is accredited for southeastern so i'm getting a business degree bachelor's in business administration but it's like basically an intensive like church internship thing whatever very leadership based whatever i have grown more during this than anything in my life i've never been happier with like where i'm at um 
while it has like slowed me I've been slowed down in like other aspects and stuff and my friends are all like going and doing cool things like I'm just genuinely so content with where I'm at that I don't feel any jealousy if that makes any sense like, I just am so secure and content with where I'm at that it I just want the best for everyone else does that make sense I feel like I get I would get FOMO either way you know what I'm saying but I've like made my like commitment so I feel like for like the rest of my life though trips I'm still gonna want to be home for Sundays so gotta figure that one out how often do you use face masks I feel like a couple times a week it really depends on my mood if I'm in like a super home self-care mood whatever it's so funny because my guy friends are like obsessed with face masks so we talk about skincare I talk about skincare more with my like best guy friends than I do with I don't talk about skincare with girls really at all it's just funny because they're like the guys that you wouldn't necessarily expect it from, you know? You see a lot of influencers and celebrities in your day-to-day -day life. This is another thing my friends and I were talking about recently. And we're like, it's really weird because like here, that's just so normal. So like, yes, but like you don't think anything of it. But it's so weird because if someone from like Kentucky is here, like that's not normal there, you know? Okay, an assumption. You get annoyed that social media is your job because you value time off socials. I don't get annoyed that social media is my, my job. Um, I think I definitely want to do other things. I don't really want this to be my main thing for forever. I want it to be like something that I do, but um, like, yeah, I wouldn't say I get annoyed. I think that sometimes I feel like if I didn't do this though, I don't even know if I would use social media as much. I don't know. Like, I feel like I've always loved like creating and stuff and that's like what social media has like become for me. But I don't get like annoyed, it's just sometimes I'm like, okay, there are times when I'm like with my friends and I'm like, okay, I don't want to be vlogging, but then, which like I don't, but then I'm like, oh, I wish that I had those memories. Cause like a lot of the reasoning behind them when I'm vlogging, especially when I'm with my friends, is to like have the memories. What's the hardest thing to deal with when balancing YouTube, school, personal life, etc.? Okay, I don't think balance exists. And I also think that there are times, this is like a lesson that I've learned. I don't think balance exists and I think when you're striving for balance you're actually holding yourself back so like I feel like in every different season of your life you need to like identify what season you're in then you also need to understand like what you need to be focusing on the most so like when I started ZLC for instance like I was doing a bunch of things like I didn't feel like YouTube was like my number one thing right and there's been times since then where I felt like no work is my number one thing or this past, the past few months, I feel like I've been going through a lot of stuff, so it's like I've given myself more leeway to like invest more in like my personal life and whatever. I don't know if what I'm saying makes much sense, but I think, for instance, like if you're trying, <sighs> there was like a lesson that we got in school about this that was so good, I wish that I could like remember it, but I feel like striving for balance actually sets you back so much. There are times in your life, like nothing is ever going to be 100% balanced, and there are different seasons in your life where you need to be focused on more on different things, right? So like I'm really lucky that I have the like leeway as far as my job. Like when I say like I'm not as focused on my job, I just mean like I'm not as crazy as I am about it. Um, I'm still like obviously working and like I'm not like, I'm not gonna do anything. I think for me the hardest thing would be if I like identify like what season I'm in, like what I'm doing, what I'm learning, whatever, and knowing what I need to focus on. The hardest thing for me is if like it's not. It's been kind of letting go of being so crazy overproductive and having to work all the time and whatever it's been hard to like kind of let go of stuff like that but it's like good and it's healthy you know i'm really a hand talker in this video guys how do you stay motivated to work out since mid-december i have not missed like i've worked out minimum three times a week but normally like five times a week and this week it's Friday and it's the first time I worked out this week and I was so unmotivated and I would just come back from traveling and I'm leaving again and it was finals and commencement and like really crazy and whatever. So I was just like off my game but I was also very unmotivated and I made myself go today, I didn't want to go and then I left and all of a sudden I feel so much more motivated. So the thing is like you just gotta do it. Like that's basically what I'm getting at. Um, and then once you get into a routine you want to, like I like crave working out and I also like I crave healthy food, you know? It's really weird but it happens. In what ways have you changed in the past two years? I feel like at the core of who I am, I'm Kinsey. I have always will be Kinsey. I've always been me, but I've grown so much. I think I'm, I think I'm open to doing other things with my life where I think I've grown as a leader. I've grown in like security in myself. I've grown so much in my faith. I've grown so much in uh, maturity and relationships and like how to handle that stuff. What else? I was just thinking about more things before. I think... Um, dealing with like grief, dealing with 
just so many things like and I also think I've I think I've like given up a lot of control over my life as like the big overarching theme but I like I literally have grown so much I'm a completely different person but I'm also like me at the core like I don't mean like I don't recognize myself I think I just have like grown and matured and whatever how do you deal with grief i get asked this a lot um this is something i like i really don't talk about much i feel like i've mentioned it briefly in videos and stuff and like i don't i literally get emotional every time i talk about it still <sighs> um but i posted like an instagram post here if you guys want to see it um i'll link it down below but um within like four months of each other my stepbrother passed away in december so like that's why i was home for forever and like really going through a hard time and then my like step grandpa which we don't call them step i'm just saying step to like differentiate um passed away like this past month that i was home and like i don't talk about this because there's like so many reasons there's literally so many reasons why i don't talk about it but i feel like it's not my place to talk about it i don't want to like overstep it's been very hard to like walk through that and like watch your family and your parents go through that like I it's the most like heartbreaking thing um and like I don't necessarily even know how to deal with it like I need to go back to therapy I know that <laughs> but like I don't I don't know I think it's just something you don't really like know how to handle it and it's like I am like super anti time heals everything I think time can help things feel less painful but I also think that if you don't deal with things in a healthy way time a lot of the time just makes things worse because then you're just like holding on to this stuff that like you you're like holding on and grasping things that you didn't deal with so they like later on it's like really bad baggage or it affects your relationships or whatever I don't I don't really have any good advice for this I think um, if you guys just read the Instagram post I feel like I like talk I speak about it a little bit better but um, yeah, it's been like really hard. Like obviously, it's like not an easy thing at all. <sighs> so that is it. We're gonna change the video and go to a lighter question. What made you decide to start your own podcast? I had wanted to start my own podcast for so long. People that I was working with at the time were like not supportive and like of me just basically in general. And so I was like given bad advice. Basically, they were like, "Don't do it. You need to focus just on YouTube. Whatever." Like. You don't have the numbers, you don't have this, you don't have that, whatever. If, don't, if you like know that you need to start something, don't listen to that. Like, I wish more than anything I would have started a year before. But, actually, no, I'm like glad I started when I did. But, I was literally talking to my pastor about this last night. He also has a podcast. And I was, and he's like talking, we were talking about how like YouTube is turning to like podcasts and blah, 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 whatever. And I was like, if I would have started a year before, I wouldn't have started when everyone else started. But, it's like not really a big deal. But I love podcasts. I listen to podcasts all the time. I'm like overall, I love, I'm like such a geek with like leadership and growing and learning and whatever. And I get so much out of that from podcasts. So yeah, I don't know. I just like genuinely love podcasts and it was something I saw myself doing. Are you planning on moving around LA? Um, I want to move back in. I live in the Valley right now. I love the Valley, but I'm like ready next year to move back into like West Hollywood. I never thought I'd want to live in West Hollywood, but like my whole life is in West Hollywood and I actually love it now. So probably move back over there, hopefully. Who in your life understands you the most? I feel like you have different people who get you in different ways. My hometown friends obviously like know me like back of their hand because they've known me since I was like 10. Um, but like Sav, I feel like really good things Sav and I are very similar. My friend Kat, I feel like faith levels, like we really get each other. It really just like, it's so loud. It really just depends on like, why is it so loud? I think it really just depends. Okay, I get so many questions about sex. It's like unbelievable. And like, not about sex in general, like my sex life. I think it's very weird that people ask that all the time. My views on it for myself have like changed. So like things that I've done before, I don't plan on doing. But overall, like, I just don't really like talking about these things. One, because it's like private and kind of weird. And then two, I guess it's not weird. It's just like not something like there's certain things you put on the internet for yourself and like, you know. But it's also like I, am, you can do whatever you want. And like, I literally, I wouldn't even think twice. Like, I don't care. Anyone can do whatever they want. Okay, I say the word like 15 times in this. So I'm just gonna, you know, redo it myself. Basically, what I'm saying is that I don't like speaking about it because I don't want anyone to ever think that I, like, it's that deep for me as far as like, it's not, like, I don't look at anyone who does something differently than me in a different way, just as like, 
people I do things that are different than other people and like it's whatever like it's really not a big deal this is like such a personal thing for me personally and it doesn't change my view on like anyone or anything and I feel like this is a topic that people get like really offended by or yeah and I, I just I honestly don't care like it's just it's to each their own kind of thing is what I'm trying to say but I love you guys do whatever you want I just get asked about this all the time and so like yeah love you guys I don't care do whatever you want do you struggle with anxiety? Yes. I don't like how adamantly I said yes just now. Um, I feel like I'm someone who people deal with like seasonal depression in like the winter and fall. I'm definitely a summer person. Like I don't know what it is. Just not. It really, really affects my mood. I definitely deal with anxiety. I feel like it comes in waves like anyone else. But I, I have been, I was on meds at like 12. Like I've been up like throughout all this whatever so yes I definitely do. Do you work out to feel good or to look good? Um, I would say like 80% feel good, 20% no 70% feel good, 30% look good. You know I don't really notice changes in my body but like people around me do but I feel like it's because I'm not really looking for that and then you see yourself every day so you don't really notice it. I don't know does that happen to anyone else? Let me know. When is the last time you drank alcohol? Uh, there was another question that's like you talk about your wild phase a lot but like how wild was it whatever. My why I don't mean it in the sense of like, oh my god, I'm an angel now. Like, it's just kind of funny. Like, I look back and I was like, really was like more fun to other people than I am now for sure. Um, it's my wild phase that I refer to. It was just like I was going out and partying a lot and like drinking a lot and I was very unfulfilled, but I was having fun, but I was like very unfulfilled. Um, and it lasted for a while. I made some like friends that I'm so close with now. I learned a lot. That was like really it. But like I'm not anti-drinking by any means. It was just Okay, I feel like I didn't explain this well either. Basically, I was drinking pretty heavily. Um it wasn't really the best time of my life and it was a big downer for me. So it was like making me very depressed and slash I was already like not doing great on top of that. So I feel like I associate the two together. Um, so for me, when I drink, it's a big downer, so it affects me very negatively, and it didn't always do that. Like, it used to not be like that. It just kind of switched one day, and then I started getting really bad hangovers, so, like, if I drink the next day, I'm really, really off, and I really don't feel good. So I couldn't really do that anymore because, like, my schedule was just very full, so I couldn't do it, and then over time, I lost desire to drink, and it's very rare. Like, rarely I'll have a drink from time to time, and who knows, maybe later I'll drink more, but... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I really don't care, like, at all. I, trust me, Tito and I go way back. Big fan of that guy. But, like, I, I just don't care. Do whatever you want is essentially what I'm getting to. Okay. So, like, when you're out and then you're not drinking, everyone's like, why aren't you drinking? Whatever. I don't want to be like, oh, I don't drink. And then them feel weird. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not the point. And it's also, like, drink. I literally don't care. So, what I do is I always have a Shirley Temple or, like, get a drink in hand, get, like, a Sprite or something. They have no idea there's no alcohol in it, so they stop asking you. It's really brilliant. Are you open to dating? Or, when's the last time you dated someone? Get that a lot. Um, fairly recently. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. So, I will say, like, this semester just ending really has just put things in perspective. This has been a really good, hard year. Very good year. I cannot believe it's only like we're only in the fifth month like i look back at every single month this year and every single month has been so so drastically different from the month before but like better but crazy drastically different like actually bizarre i can't even like i think about like people and things that i was like hanging out or doing whatever this year and i'm like i can't that doesn't even feel like it was this year like i feel like i have grown so I've never grown more than I have really specifically like more in the past like six weeks than ever in my entire life I feel like I've matured. I've grown. I've learned my worth. That's a huge thing, which I feel like I always knew my worth, but I feel like It's really easy for me to get like I'm a very like loyal person and it's very easy for me to like get emotionally involved with someone and then I don't know how to say this like and then like make excuses for them and stick around because I'm like, no, I'm here. Like I'm in this, like I'm here for you, whatever. And like put them in front of myself in the sense of like, that's really awesome. Like it's really good to do that for like friends when anything past that, it's like you deserve so much more than that, you know? So I feel like I've just like matured in the way I view relationships and like what I will like not put up with. Because obviously, like, you always give people grace, but, like, knowing when is too much 
or like knowing what boundaries to draw I think so yeah I don't know I feel like I'm just I like myself a lot more now I feel a lot stronger now I have like very strong non-negotiables and boundaries I really like who I'm becoming I just I don't know I feel good like I just feel really good yeah finished my junior year of college which is crazy one more year I have three summer classes I don't want to talk about it I just feel good I'm the happiest I've ever been with my friendships I am worried about the summer because I don't know why I feel like sometimes my house just gives me anxiety because I I don't know if you guys have any advice on that let me know because just working from home and being here all summer like just drives me insane sometimes so also I feel like in the past I don't know how long I've been filming I feel like I definitely know more of what I want to do with my life which isn't necessarily I don't think anything anything that people would like guess not necessarily how to get there but I feel like I just have like more of like a okay like I know it's in this general area but I will say there was something I was listening I mentioned this on the podcast but there was a video I was watching it was Stephen Furtick and TD Jakes really good video I think it was on Soaring not on Crush I don't know there's two of them Q&A is on YouTube look them up TD Jakes is talking about, he's like a pastor, a filmmaker, uh, like he, is he, you know, he's a producer, author, business, like he does so many things, like he wears so many hats basically, and he was talking about the idea of like don't let your title become a prison, and I love that, because I'm like, there's, those are all things that I want to do basically, but I don't want to only be one thing, and I don't want to be confined to one thing, and I want to be able to do a bunch of stuff without feeling suffocated, and yeah, I don't know, it was just really good, so I feel like, I've, when I say I've learned more than ever, I've, I've learned more than ever. It's crazy. What are you looking for in a significant other? This is a good one. Um, well, Dom and I literally... Okay, guys. Dom basically was like, Kenzie, I'm tired of this. We're going to sit down and we're making like a non-negotiable list of like, these are the things that we want in a relationship or in a person or whatever. And it's like a non-negotiable. And she's like, we're putting it on a... Maybe this is my idea because it's a shared Google Doc. So like we'll make a shared Google Doc basically. So we literally have a shared Google Doc of like qualities that were not like standards basically. So we're not like, oh, this is a really good friend of mine. And like we have finished for each other, blah, blah, blah. And then you get into something that like you deserve so much more because you're already emotionally there. Do you see what I'm saying? So you're being logical. So we made the shared Google Doc and we actually recorded an entire podcast episode on it. So let me look up my Google Doc and I'll give you guys like two qualities. But if you guys want to hear the rest of them, listen to the podcast episode, it's gonna be good. See, literally, I'm not kidding. Mature all around. I want someone who's like very, very, very mature and then very, very, very secure in themselves and their calling and their relationships and their friendships and who they are and their personality, their abilities and their relationship with me, all of it. Like, that's really important. Leader. And also, this is a big one. And this is the last one and then you guys can listen to the podcast episode, but I want someone who's very like self-disciplined. So, like in their routines, their habits, like I think it's so attractive when someone is like trying to grow. So like they're listening to podcasts, they're reading books, they're like constantly in their word, like whatever they're doing to grow. I think that's so attractive. If they're like working out, if they're basically just independent and growing on their own, self-discipline, that is big for me. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. An assumption was I assume you don't like answering questions about your faith. Okay, that is not true. I say that, but I feel like I don't want at the end of the day, that is like the main thing that matters to me. I really don't care about much else. But I also don't want people who watch this channel to feel like that's all I talk about. Like it is such a huge part of my life that it's like I would not really have a channel or like have much to talk about just because it's like such a huge part of my life. But I don't want it to be in the way of like if you don't believe what I believe, you can't watch my videos. Does that make sense? So I will talk about it, obviously, as I do. And I feel like, and there's some that are like you never talk about it, talk about it. I feel like I talk about it a lot like very often if you listen to my podcast like it comes up but I feel like in the way that I talk about it it's like you anyone could apply any of this stuff to their lives regardless of what um they really like believe obviously like would love for you guys to like whatever but yeah so like I don't I love talking about that stuff but like also this is like a lifestyle channel where I'm like talking about a bunch of things and like I don't want just because like you don't believe what I believe for you to like not feel like you can like be here and like watching these videos and like in this community and whatever like that's not the point at all so I'll talk about it because a lot of people ask me questions and like whatever but also a lot of the time it's like talking about like my sex life and talking about like whatever like there's so much more to it than that like 
You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I feel like the questions that I get are just kind of like annoying. You know? <laughs> but like, I love talking about it, but also like this channel is like, the, the, it's everything, you know? So which is why it is talked about, but why. I feel like I can't win. I either talk about it too much or like not enough. You know what I'm saying? So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. If you guys did, let me know by commenting down below, scrunchy, if you made it to the end. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure it was so freaking long, but I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!